Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to install Kali Linux in Oracle VirtualBox on your Windows platform. This is Kali Linux first release of 2023. There are some recommended system requirements to install Kali Linux. You should have 2 gig free RAM, 20 gig free space on your hard disk, and your processor should be Core i3 or higher. If it is from different vendors, it should be equivalent to Core i3. To begin installation, we search Kali Linux in Google and look for the Kali.org. This is the official website of Kali Linux. Click on this link. And now on this page, we can click on download. On this page, we have two options. These are the installer images, also called ISO images, and these are the virtual machines. These are uh, pre built images for VMware and VirtualBox. In this video, I will use pre built image. For ISO image, I will make separate video. We'll click on virtual machine, and this is the download page for pre built images. Before downloading, you should know whether your operating system is 64 bit or 32 bit. If you want to confirm, then go to your desktop, this PC, right click, properties, and look for system type. It will show you whether it is 64 or 32. Or you can go to command prompt and type this command system info, and then look for system type. All right, our is 64 bit, which is already selected here. To download for VirtualBox image, we click on this small arrow. This is for direct downloads. As we click on here, the download will start. Our Kali image has downloaded. As you can see, it is a 7-zip file, and we have to extract it with 7-zip. This is our Kali machine folder. If you want to keep it, you can keep it here. It is 12.4 uh, gig. If you want to move some different place, you can move it. Now we'll go to our Oracle virtual box. Double click, open it. As I mentioned earlier, it is uh, just pre-built virtual machine. So we don't need to create it new. Click on add and locate to the folder we just extracted. Double click and look for the VBox file. We just select it and open. This is our virtual machine, it's ready to use. Simply click on start. powering up now it is asking for username and password as you remember we have username Kelly and password also Kelly login This is our Kali machine, it is ready to use. But the first thing you have to change your password because we are using default password from the website. Go to your terminal and to change the password, the command is P A W S W D. Enter and it is asking for current password, which is Kali. Enter. And now you can enter your new password. Make sure it is strong and easy to remember. Retype. Here we go. Password updated successfully. 
that's it for this video hopefully it was useful to you